It is said that Mother Teresa made the observation once that the most offensive word that she knew in the English language was the word exclusive. Exclusive. Think about it. You know, to say exclusive really is the kind of word that you and I receive maybe in a special mailing that says, here's an exclusive offer for you. You say, oh, wow, exclusively for me. Or this is an exclusive gathering of people. Or there's an exclusive offering of some form, shape, or another. And you know, we all sort of like to think that's, well, that's kind of interesting. I wonder what it is that I've been sort of invited into something exclusive. But it's really not so much exclusive. It's much more who is included and who is excluded. For exclusive really means you are being asked to come in, but you are not being asked to come in. So exclusive means we're sort of dividing up folks. Some are here, some are there. And most of us want to be in the so-called in group, the excluded group, or no, the included group, oh yes. And so while we think that way a lot, and our culture generally thinks that way a lot, I don't think that's what God is telling us of how we want to find ourselves. For in fact, the scripture readings, beginning with the beautiful Old Testament reading from Leviticus this morning, is a series of things we ought not to do in any way offensive. Stealing or treating ill or being unjust and unfair, all the different ways we don't want to act. It's almost a, a, a mirroring of the Old Testament, the Decalogue, the, the Ten Commandments that Moses receives on Mount Sinai. But then Jesus, who completes the old law, brings in the new, takes it to a whole new level by saying every time we exclude anybody from any act of kindness or any discrimination, we are in fact excluding him. We're excluding him. It's like the vision of our God is that there be this unity among all of us, that nobody be excluded, that everybody be included. This is this Catholic Christian community and beyond, that everybody, everybody is God's precious child. God wants included. It's, it's the vision of God for communion. As the Trinity is a communion of love, and we are born and brought into life, our destiny is to be in communion with this God. And yet our actions, our words, our thoughts, for all kinds of reasons, oftentimes tend to separate us in all kinds of ways. Political, social, cultural, oh, it goes on and on. And yet the vision of God is that we be one, that we be one family, one community of the faithful. Brothers and sisters, in this beautiful Lenten time, perhaps one of the metrics, one of the measures we want to think about is that as our God calls us into communion, not just in word, but in sacraments, in, in his very presence, poured out for us in communion, no, so nourished and brought into this communion, may we go forward in these beautiful days of Lent, wondering how we can contribute to communion amongst ourselves with one another in all times, in all people, in all places.